Yeah, look at this unique article right here. Shoutouts to AOI. AOI91. If I mispronounced your name, dude, I apologize. Uh, the topic is, why do I feel like Sonic Frontiers might be an emotional game? Uh, first of all, the artwork is amazing, by the way, dude. Beautiful artwork, by the way. You know, like, it's really, truly amazing. You know, like, the, the lengths that everybody goes through, uh, through these, um, uh, through Sonic Frontiers. Everybody's just dabbling and just having their own take on what the art style should be, and I really enjoy that. You know, I'm very envious of anybody who has, uh, skills like that, of being, uh, who does custom artwork like that. I'm just a storyteller and a script writer. Seriously, that's all I am right now. But, yeah, I just want to say congratulations. It's a pretty cool artwork, dude. Now, you're probably saying, like, could Sonic Frontiers be an emotional game? And my answer is, well, yes. You have to realize, since, uh, if Ian Flynn is writing the, writing the story, or at least a big portion of it, that it's a possibility that yes, he is gonna it is gonna have emotion behind it. My only problem with that is, are the voice actors gonna care? That's my only concern. You know, there's nothing wrong with adding emotion into a Sonic the Hedgehog game. In fact, I'm gonna tell you something right now about Sonic Dark Infinity. I'll get to more than that in a few seconds. But let me just get finished my topic here first before I jump ship to the next uh topic. When it comes to a Sonic the Hedgehog game, you tend to want emotion. You know, considering the story, you know, depending on tone. Most Sonic stories are either too lighthearted or meant for kids. Nothing too serious. You're never going to get to the point of Sonic Adventure 2 story. I'm sorry, that shit's not just going to happen anymore. That story was way too dark. It was way ahead of its time. And I don't know how how people are going to think that we're going to go back to that kind of style ever again. That's not That shit's never going to happen again. So just, just deal with it. But at the end of the day, you know, a, a Sonic the Hedgehog story could be dark, but at the end of the day, you don't have to make it too fucking dark and too fucking grim. You know, you have to have your moments here and there, so you have a chance to rectify your mistakes. And it gives you that good feeling when you eventually do triumph over the bad guy and win. But yeah, so I mean, Sonic Frontiers, could it be uh, emotion? Can it add emotion? And the answer is yes, if done correctly. Now, look at this one right here. This is one of my favorite arts right here, and I want you to be honest. People are saying, oh my god, please, could you actually make Sonic cry in a scene? I'm willing to bet you my life that Roger Craig Smith doesn't even know how to fucking cry as Sonic the Hedgehog. I swear to god, I can tell that that, that asshole doesn't even know how to fucking cry if he... If he were to try as Sonic the Hedgehog. Let me tell you something right now. In Sonic Dark Infinity, I have a total of six scenes where Sonic cries. Honest to God. In one scene, I'm going to tell you this right now. I don't care if I'm giving away spoilers right now. In one scene, after one horrific event happens to Tails, Sonic cries so badly, he feels like a broken man. He feels like a broken shell of his former self. I'm telling you the truth right now. So for all of you who are saying, what's the next step on Sonic Dark Infinity? Because you haven't talked about it in almost three, four, five, six months. I'm telling you something right now. Sonic does does cry after what happens. And those are real fucking tears. Not fake-ass crocodile tears. And I guarantee you right now, I bet you anything that Roger Craig doesn't even know how to tear up for real. Because the first thing I would tell him is, if I ever had a position like that at Sega, I would say, I would say Mr. Craig Smith... Can you please cry? Please cry like your your uh, your job depends on it. Cause if you can't cry or add emotion, what good are you to this to this franchise? Seriously, because in all of my Sonic the Hedgehog strips, I do have emotional scenes. You have crying moments. You have love moments. I go the whole nine yards. Trust me. And I'm telling you something right now. I'm willing to bet my life that Roger Craig Smith doesn't even know how to cry for real. And I could tell that he's bullshitting you if he is giving an opportunity like that. I could tell if it's if it's a, an authentic, you know, real cry or a fake-ass crocodile tear cry. Trust me, I know how to judge emotion. So I think that's a safe bet to take. My apologies for going on that rant, but I just can't stand that motherfucker. And the fact that if Sonic Frontiers does actually give a Son Amy moment to fucking Roger Craig Smith and Cindy Robinson, Two fucking co-stars who have no fucking, you know, connection? Come on, you already tried that at Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric in that one scene. Now, I understand, you know, it was a different story back then, and I understand Sonic's character at that point is to be an arrogant douche, which was justified. I didn't really, I didn't really, you know, like, again, it wasn't my hill to die on. 
you know, obviously Sonic showed no emotion during that beautiful water cliff scene, uh, scene while Amy was just, you know, enjoying the moment, savoring it. But I understand, I was, I, I let it go because it was different, but if Frontiers does something like that, I guarantee you there's gonna be no emotion whatsoever, including a love scene. Trust me on that. That's all I gotta say about this, let me know what you all think. Again, I may be throwing my own tangents here and there, but again, I'm telling the fucking truth here. Alright, peace out.